Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's give the Lord a hand praise this morning. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Are you glad to be in the house today? Amen. Amen. You know, it's always good. When we look around and all the things that's going on in our world, it's just good to be alive, amen? It's just good to be able to look out and see somebody else, amen? God has been good, and his mercy endures forever, amen? I thank God for this beautiful day that he has made, amen? And I'm ready to just move forward and let the Lord have his way. Amen. We're going to ask this choir to come and they're going to give us a selection and then we're going to move uh, further on in our service. Amen. Amen.
that he died for all of us. Amen. Amen. This ought to get your blood pumping a little bit this morning. Amen. You know, sometimes you don't know what nobody done been through all week long. Amen. You don't know what the ups and downs that life had presented all week long. And here we are. Amen. We're here to celebrate. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. To tell him, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, God. Amen. People were here yesterday, last week. They're gone today. Amen. People that was well, they, they in the hospital. Amen. It could have been the other way. Church, we got to learn how to give God the praise. Give him the glory. You don't ever know what's going to. It's a great thing. What he done for me. Amen. It's a great thing. Just to see another day. Y'all sing a little bit more. Come on, come on. Yeah, look. See, church, he's been my dog. church as you rest on your feet for the word of God let us not forget it was a great thing take it personal the song said that he did for me amen amen so your scripture today will be coming from Matthew 5 verses 43 through 48 and it reads thusly ye have heard that it have been said Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemy, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, 
that ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Lord have mercy. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye, do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans do so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Amen. God bless the red word. Good morning, church. Good morning. It is once again we come to go before God's holy throne. I ask that you begin to call out the names of those that you know are going through. Uh, the Newby Ferris family comes to mind first. There's just so many and so much that is happening in this world today. We had a verdict last week, and people began to celebrate. I didn't see anything to celebrate. I just did not see anything to celebrate. There was a killing of a young lady. We are dealing with some incidents down in Pasquotank County now. I got calls all day long yesterday. Pray for this world. See, I'm not in that place yet where I can pray for my enemies. I'm not there yet. And I'm not going to fool myself. And I'm not going to try to fool you. Because some things, oh Lord, I'm not God and I'm not perfect. <laughs> Let us pray. Most gracious and holy Father, it is once again that I stand before your people to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that you so richly deserve. Father, now I ask that you stand in the midst of this congregation. Reach out and touch each and every one of us so that we would be what you would have us to be. Because Father, I fall so short and I need your grace and I need your mercy to do what you would have me to do. Father, there's someone out here this morning that is hurting. Touch them with a finger of love. Let them know that it will be all right. So many unanswered questions. One day, I answered them all. Father, touch the man of God as he comes to break the bread of life. Dip him down deep in your well of knowledge. Lift him up so what he says may help some man, woman, boy, or girl ask, what must I do to be saved? Not only what must I do to be saved, but Father, I'm hurting, and I know you to be a healer. The word says you never lost a case. Let the world know you are not pleased with what he sees or what you see. Father, start to make a move in this country that these things that should not be, will not be. Father, we lift you up on high. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. This is your humble service prayer. 
In Jesus the Christ's name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. and worship a wild church. How many of you know that God is your everything?
my everything. Amen. Is he your everything? Amen. My God is my everything. He's my joy in the morning. Amen. He is. That's right. Somebody say, he's my hope for tomorrow. Amen. Everything I need, he is my everything. Amen. It's, that's good news to know that we serve a God. Amen. You know, uh, a spare tie is good. Amen. But a spare tie, most times, just ride around doing nothing. But let me tell you something. When you have a flat, <laughs> amen, that, that, that spare tie become very, very important all of a sudden. Amen. But, you know, we can't make God a spare tie. Just ride around till we need. He ought to be our everything. Every day when we wake up, he ought to start with us. We, we need him at the midnight hour. We need him all during the morning. When, 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 whenever we are uh, up or whether we are down, amen, we ought to make him our everything. Amen. amen. That's what God is, our everything. Thing. Amen. Let me move on this morning. Our scripture text that has been already read in your hearing. Amen. From this fifth chapter of uh, Matthew, we want to read just two or three of these verses. 43 says, You have heard that it has been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good. And he sendeth rain, amen, on the just and on the unjust. Amen. Let us pray. Most holy, all wise, eternal God, our Father, we come once again to say thank you. God, when we woke up early this morning, realized that we were still here, somebody ought to say, Lord, I thank you. God, you gave us a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. For that we owe you grace and mercy. God, we thank you for just being so good to us. God, so many people are hurting, so many are going through. Amen. So many have lost loved ones. But God, we know that you are the God of the living and the God of the dead. Lord, I pray this morning that you will touch some heart, Lord. Lord, somebody came looking for a miracle. Somebody need a breakthrough in their life. God, I pray this morning that something will be said and done that will help folk to realize that you are our everything. You are everything that I need. God, we pray for the sick, the shut in. But God, we pray for those that are hurting and looking for a way out. 
God, you said, I'll give you a way of escape, and we thank you for what you're going to do. If someone is without Christ, Lord, I pray for salvation, that they will cry out, Lord, I yield. What must I do to be saved? And Lord, it's your words in my mouth. It's my life in your hands. May the words of my mouth, the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer in the name of Jesus the Christ. God's children said amen. Amen and amen. You have heard that it have been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send rain on the just and the unjust. I want to use for a subject this morning, I won't complain. Amen. I won't complain. The one thing that I've learned about today's modern, sophisticated church is that we have a whole lot of disgruntled people that are among our ranks. Amen. What I mean is that for whatever reason, we have folk that fuss, argue, and complain about the condition and the way many of our respected churches are run. Now, everyone should realize that for most of our churches and worship centers, if we are truly biblically based, we will be operated by Christians who love the Lord. And not only love the Lord, but love his people unconditionally and are willing to be ruled and governed by the principles and the precepts of God's word. Amen, somebody. First and foremost, when we came to Jesus for salvation, church, we came on his conditions. Amen. We, we surrendered to his will and his way. In the Bible, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, the Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a what? New creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Church, you see, our job and our purpose this morning is to become Christ-like or do things the way uh, that Christ himself would do. We have to show love and respect that many people uh, who are looking and longing for in their turbulent and confused lives. Amen, somebody. We as Christians need to be more patient, Amen. compassionate, and understanding when it comes to winning lost souls to Christ. You see, many non-Christians are turned off by church folk that are hateful contradicting and downright intolerant when it comes to what they are trying to find through salvation. You might as well help me this morning. Uh, in, in other words, don't practice. Uh, in, in other words, most people don't practice what they preach. One writer put it like this, we don't walk the talk. Amen. Uh, church, I believe that if we would stop much of the complaining and do more praying, then we could be a much stronger and useful institution for the cause of Christ. I won't complain. On yesterday, Amen. I, I got a call uh, from a young lady, and uh, she said, Reverend Gray, uh, the, the singer that we had got sick, and, and we want you to uh, come and uh, sing a song. 
And I said, well, uh, I'll come and I'll try to do the best that I can. Uh, she said, well, I, I got another uh, a thing I want you to do. I want you to sing a certain song. I said, well, honey, wait a minute now. You better give me something that I know. And she said, well, I want to hear I won't complain. Amen. And I said, well, listen here. I tried to sing a little of the song one time, and that's all I've ever done. But I work on it, and I try to do what I could. So I, I, I looked up uh, uh, the, the song, I Won't Complain, by uh, Reverend Paul Jones. And because I'm very unfamiliar with the uh, song, I had to print out the lyrics so that I wouldn't mess it up too bad uh, in singing the song. Amen, somebody. But you know, as I began to practice and read the words of the song, the Spirit of God began to move on me. And I had to stop and pray for forgiveness uh, for my own complaining and my doubt. Amen, somebody. Uh, uh, the words of the song go something like this. He said, I had some good days and I had some hills to climb. I had some weary days and some sleepless nights. Don't that sound like us? He said, but when I look around and think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. I won't complain. Amen. Then uh, uh, the song goes on. The uh, uh, second stanza said, sometimes uh, the, the clouds hang low. I can't hardly see the road. And he said, I asked the question, Lord, why so much pain? Amen. Uh, 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 the song says, but he knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes, they just can't see. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I won't complain. The chorus goes, uh, the Lord has been good to me. Yes, he's been good to me. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, he, he, more than this old world or uh, you could ever be, he's been so good. Songwriter said, he dried all of my tears away, turned my midnights into day. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I won't complain. He says, I've been lied on, but thank you, Lord. I've been talked about, but thank you, Lord. I've been misunderstood, but thank you, Lord. You, uh, you've been sick in your body, but thank you, Lord. I, my body is all wrecking in pain, but thank you, Lord. My bills are due. Amen. Don't know where the money is coming from. But thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's been good to me. More than this old world or you could ever be, he's been good. He's been good, so good, so good to me. He dried all of my tears away, turned my midnights into day. So I'll just say, Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Church, this song ought to be a reality uh, check for all of us. Because if the truth be told this morning, all of us have complained, amen, about many things that were not even in our power uh, or, or, or even to change or to alter. Amen. We done complained about the weather. It's too hot, Lord. It's too cold. It's raining too much. Lord, we ain't got enough rain. We complain about how we feel. I, uh, Lord, I, I woke up this morning hurting. I'm sick. I don't even feel good enough to come to church this morning. But many times you're well enough to go to Walmart. Amen, somebody. Amen. The job, Lord. 
I'm working too hard. Uh, they, they, they ain't paying enough money. Hey, Lord, uh, the church, pay, uh, the job paying good money, but I, I'm working too many hours. My spouse, children getting on my last nerve. Then when you're all by yourself, Lord, I'm lonely. Hey, man, my church isn't doing enough. We, we need better leaders. Get rid of the pastor and we'll be all right. But then you go somewhere else and realize that where you were was better than where you just went to. Amen, somebody. The song said we, we, we had weary days and sleepless nights. Good days and bad days, many hills to climb. But, but notice uh, the author's solution to everything. He said, so I'll just say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, 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 in other words, uh, the author said, I have a choice in this matter. And my choice is that I won't complain. Amen, somebody. Church, when are we going to stop complaining? Just tell the Lord, thank you. We complain about folk that we don't have the power or authority to change them. When we turn them over to Jesus in prayer, then not only will the Lord change them, but he'll change you too. Amen, somebody. Uh, the Bible in Romans 8 and 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Amen. To them who are the call according to his purpose. Amen. In uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 8, it says, I wish therefore that men would pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without uh, wrath or doubting. And then Philippians 4 and 6 says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Amen. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 19 says, I call to heaven and earth to record this day against you. I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life that both you and your seed may live. Amen, somebody. Luke 1 and 37 says, for with God, Nothing shall be impossible. Amen. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Peter uh, uh, 4 and 9 says, uh, Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Uh, uh, Lamentations 3 and 39 says, uh, Wherefore do a, uh, why do a living man complain? A man for the punishment of his sins. Uh, uh, church, on and on, the scripture talks about prayer. It talks about coming together. It talks about not grudging or complaining, uh, but accepting the will of Jesus Christ uh, in our lives. Uh, church, uh, the Bible said it rains on the just and the unjust. Uh, sometimes we may be up and sometimes we may be down. Uh, but church, God, uh, uh, while it's put down on, uh, on the sign the other uh, uh, week, uh, last week, uh, God is not always fair. Amen. He said it rains on the just and the unjust. God said love those that hate you. Do good to those that despitefully misuse you. Amen. Uh, in our text this morning, five, uh, Matthew 5 and 43, uh, uh, the Bible says, have you heard uh, that it has been said that you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Church, uh, uh, God is letting us know that we have a responsibility. Amen. We can continue to complain and argue and fuss about things that's out, out of our power. Or either we can say, Lord... Not my will, but thy will be done. Church, uh, God is calling us to do some radically different things than what the world is teaching us. Uh, the world will teach you if somebody uh, do something to you, you do it to them back. 
But God said, no, that ain't the way that I've called you to operate. Uh, uh, love those that hate you. Amen. If you want to uh, uh, pour some uh, 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 wrath upon a person, uh, do good to those that despitefully use you. Everybody ain't going to like you. I don't care how well you do. Uh, some folk are just not going to like you. Amen. I ain't said nothing. I ain't did nothing. Uh, uh, you, you know, but, but they just don't pick you out. But church, we got to learn to love them back. Folk get on my nerves sometimes. Amen. No, they don't like you. Here they come grinning up in your face. <laughs> Man, I want... You, you know, that, that's the, that's the, that, I, I, I said, Lord, look here, I want to get them back. I, I want to cuss somebody out one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brother said it in prayer, we, we ain't all the way there yet, bro. I, I want to. But I thank God for his grace and his mercy. See, we have a choice in the matter. Church, you can't say the devil made me do it. No, you got a choice in the matter. You did it because you wanted to do it. Amen. You, you, you got to let the Holy Spirit take control. Amen. Uh, when you submit your will to God's will, uh, then God is controlling what you say and do. But when you step outside of God's will uh, and you say, let me do it my way, uh, you're going to do and say some things uh, that it didn't come from heaven. Uh, that stuff came from your evil, wicked heart. Uh, you wanted to do it in the first place. Uh, I don't like it no how. Uh, uh, and any time I get a chance, uh, I'm going to try to tear you down. But church, I'm so glad <laughs> we got a God. Amen. God said, revenge is mine, saith the Lord. Amen. You, you, you can fight on me and hate on me all you want to. But every time you hate me and do something against me, God is going to bless me. Church, the more wrong you do to me, the more a God is going to bless me. Church, there is no right way to do wrong. We either going to do it God's way or we going to do it the evil devil's way. Church, I don't know about you, but church, we got to love God and stop complaining about the things that's happening in our lives. If we listen and obey, God is trying to teach us, amen, what real living is all about. This place is not our home. This place is not our home. We get so caught up in, in, in what we are trying to do. Church, whether you reach the top of you, never get off the bottom. Church, the Bible says, when Jesus come, he said the first shall be last and the last shall be first sometimes we got to take our all eyes off of the natural and we got to look spiritually you know and, and, and I'm not saying we got to live that way but what I'm saying is every now and then you got to look into the future of what is going to happen and take place. It gives us hope. It gives us strength. I may be broke. I may be down. I may be ostracized by the world. But you know, there's a day coming to when my God is going to raise me up. See, that gives you hope through the bad times. Yeah, man, I, I, I continue to tell people, as, as African-American people, we ought to be the most blessed people in the world. Our ancestors had to be slaves, been beaten and, and, and whipped and uh, separated, uh, uh, did all these things. And let me tell you something. Some of those people were stronger Christians than any of us could ever be. But you know what? They, they endured. You know the thing about the slaves, what uh, uh, the, the, the white man couldn't do is break his spirit. Now, if somebody start beating on me, <laughs> you, you, you know, I'm going to say, hold, hold, hold up, balls. That's, that's enough. Hey, Lord. What, now, what you want me to do? They, they, look here. These people were so strong. They were so determined. 
And that's, that's the thing that, see, we have, we have crossed over. See, we, we, we're too soft. We, we, we done got too soft and too pampered. Amen. Those people endured hardship. They lived hard. Didn't ever have an abundance of anything. But you know what? It did not stop them. They not only continued to serve God, but they, they lived. They, they took the lemon and squeezed it, added a little sugar and made some lemonade. When life sours on you, church, what we got to do is to learn how to keep on moving. So many times people give up and quit. Oh, it's too hard. Why me, Lord? Why not you? You ain't no better than anybody else. You know, I went to this film, and again, it's always hard for families to accept death because that's, that's it. We feel like that's the end of it, but, but, but really, it's not. This is what gives us as Christians the upper hand. Because, you know, when a loved one dies, he said to be absent from the body is to what? Be present with the Lord. It gives us the hope that it ain't over yet. I've seen the best people in the world suffer. Amen. They, 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 they suffer with every kind of affliction that life brings. Mean as devils in the world, they're as healthy as a horse. Running around here, doing every kind of evil they can think of. Ain't never sick. Ain't never hurt. Nothing. Money, power. And he said, wait, wait a minute, Lord, why, why is this? But God said, Barry, look here, you know what? I'll take care of that. You know, because again, we got our eyes fixed on glory. Every now and then we need to realize that, Lord, all the struggling and all the situations that I've gone through, some, and the reality is sometimes we'll never reach where we're trying to get to. But God said, you know what? Keep on moving. Don't ever quit. Don't ever give up. Because the, 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 the God that I serve, the grace and the mercy of Almighty God. You know, sometimes we look so far ahead that we fail to realize, Lord, just, just enough strength for the day. Matter of fact, the Lord's Prayer said, Lord, give us our what? Daily bread. Sometimes, church, we get too uh, anxious and, and, and too excited to move to a place to where God never de uh, designed nor designated us to be. Sometimes we got to understand, God, if this is what you call me to be, help me to be content. Paul said, I've learned to be abased. I've learned to be abound. Meaning that whether I'm up or whether I'm down, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> I ain't going to be crying because I'm broke. I ain't going to be crying because I'm down. Sometime old leg get the hurting back, the hurting me. But, but I said, Lord, thank you that I'm still able to move. I, I, I'm still able, Lord, to uh, do uh, maybe limited things, but I'm still able. Because when you look, somebody is laying in a hospital, don't even know the end of the world. Somebody can't move one muscle, can't even hardly blink their eyes. And we complain about the little aches and pains or the uh, setback backs and disappointments that we go through in life. Stop complaining. That's a choice. I won't complain. The songwriter said, I won't. I, I'm not going to. I'm going to give God 
some praise. Thank you, Lord. You've been good. Thank you, Lord. Bad days, good days outweigh the bad days. Thank you, Lord. See, sometimes we got to realize that God has blessed us. And God has brought us from a mighty long way. And if I can't say nothing else, Lord, thank you for what you've done for me. Church, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but somebody needs to. God says, stop wasting all your time on complaining. Help somebody else. I saw this homeless man, and it was on YouTube, and, uh, uh, you know, people have these signs around, I work for food and, and different things. But this brother had, he said, I'll sing for, you know, I couldn't tell if it said money or, or sing for play. But, but the thing about it, he stopped, and he, beautiful voice, and uh, the man sung, and, and this lady, she was just, you know, she just got teary-eyed, and she said, I can't believe that here you are, homeless, no place to lay your head, and you out here singing songs that lift up other people's spirits. And that brother says something that uh, will stick with me. He said, you know what? He said, you know, I've learned in life that God calls different people to do different things. I may not have no money. I may not have no house or car, but God has given me the spirit to enjoy each and every day. He said, so I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. Church, we got to learn and realize that God may not ever give us what we want. And we may not ever have everything that we thought we should have. But when are we going to start saying, Lord, thank you for what you've done for me? Maybe little in the world's eyes, but Lord, thank you. It, it, it may not be what I thought I ought to deserve, but Lord, thank you. And sometimes we got to just humble ourselves and say, thank you, Jesus. I won't complain. Amen. If there's someone that don't know the Lord in the free pardons of their sin, amen. I'm going, Nick, if you will, Amen. Try to. I want to sing just a verse of this song. And I sung it without music, so uh, I think a little help would be good this morning. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights, but when I looked around and think things over, all of my good days out of Sometimes the clouds hang low. I can hardly see the road. Sometimes I ask the question, Lord, Lord, why so much pain? But a church here. for me Although my weary eyes they just can't see So I'll just say thank you Lord So I'll just say thank you Lord 
So I'll just say thank you, love. Oh, Lord, I won't complain. The Lord has been good to me. Yes, he's been good to me. More than this whole world or you could ever be. He's been good. He's been good. He's been good to me. Lord, you dried all of my tears away. Turn my midnight into day. So I just say, thank you, love. So I just say, thank you, love. I've been lied on, but thank you, love. I've been talked about, but thank you, love. I've been misunderstood, but to me. Church, God has been good to me. Don't live in a mansion, don't drive a fancy car, but God has been good to me. Yeah, Lord, he's been good. He, 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 he picked me up and turned me around. Church, we ought to tell him thank you. You, you, you know, every now and then you ought to look at your life and say, Lord, I thank you. Amen. I thank you that I'm still here. Amen. I don't see a wheelchair in this place. Miss Linda is the only one that rolled in here. But God's still been good. Amen. He's brought us from a mighty long way, church. We got to recognize that he's been good. He's good. His nature is to be good. Even when we don't understand, he's good. It's all right to praise him. Amen. It's all right to praise him. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because you've been good. Ain't he good? Ain't he good? He's been good. Amen. I won't complain. Church, that ought to be our desire this morning is, Lord, I won't complain. Amen. I want to pray for you that need prayer. You know, you can't pray for everybody because I've had people tell me, preacher, don't even pray for me. Amen. I, I don't need your prayers. But I need prayer. And I need prayer every day. Amen. Not only every day, but Lord, I need you to walk with me, talk with me. Lord, tell me that I'm your own. Just whatever you need is some hurting people. I've gotten so many phone calls from people that are going through so much. You know, sometimes, church, because uh, we doing all right, we fail to realize as people all around us, our neighbors, our friends, and our colleagues, people that are suffering. And people can't tell everybody their problems and situations. Some folk time you tell, they tell you, you calling somebody else telling them. 
You know, people want folk that they can trust. That if I tell you, you keep it to yourself. Just talk to God about it. Sometimes we needed to get it off our chest. Amen. You can't, you, you can't convince everybody that this is a private matter. There you spreading what somebody else somewhere where it don't need to be. But church, I believe that when the Bible said we touch and agree, that's the whole purpose of telling somebody that we can touch this matter and agree upon it, submit it to God and allow God, amen, to work it out. If you need prayer this morning, if you will stand, amen. It's all right to come to the altar. Amen. Diamond, I'm going to pray for you. She's getting ready to have a little one this week. <laughs> I don't deliver one, baby. I said, honey, you, you, uh, you be careful here. But, but church, whatever you need, see, sometimes you can't tell nobody. You can't tell your best friend, your spouse. Sometimes I just have to tell it to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because my God not only can, but my God will. When you allow him to turn it over to Jesus. And sometimes you be the contact person. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people have to contact you. And you share the spirit of God that's in you to them. If you bow your heads this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come this morning, God. Lord, we are not coming here out of form nor fashion, but God, we are coming here because we need a touch. Hey, Lord, we, we need a touch from you, God. Lord, when the enemy said you can't do it, God, your spirit said, yes, you can it may not come tomorrow. It might not come tonight, but God, you said you are on time, God. And we trust you and believe you. God, we have situations all around this altar. Some have lost their loved one. God, I pray for strength and I, I, I pray for power in their lives. God, I know they don't understand but God, you said in that sweet by and by. God, there are some people that are sick. That got some reports from the doctor that's not looking well at all. But God, we know that you are a doctor that have never lost a case. God, we have relationship issues and problems that God, we can't seem to get worked out husbands and wives and children and brothers and sisters and Lord all kinds of relationships that's broken God I pray for healing and deliverance God Lord I pray for this young lady that she will give birth to a healthy strong and vibrant child God, let her know that your hand is in her hand. Help her to be the mother, the godly mother, the Christian mother, that mother that sacrifices her own life for her children. Oh, God, I pray for this church that you will heal us, God. Make us what you would have us to be. God, we done complain and we done uh, argue and fuss long enough. God, bring us together in one band of Christian love. Help us to feel the power, of God. Help us, uh, 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 Lord, to know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And God, I pray for salvation above all. God, I pray for lives to be changed, that souls be delivered. God, we pray for houses and land and cars and homes and, and don't even pray for people to be saved anymore. 
our world. Help us to refocus and reconnect to you. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. God, I pray for healing around this altar. God, that you will strengthen these families, these individuals, God, that you will let them know that not only have I heard, but I've already dispatched angels to, uh, to minister to you. I've already dispatched angels to take care of problems and situations that were just too hard for you. And God, we just thank you for your Holy Spirit. Uh, God, I pray uh, that you will continue to hold us, shape and mold us into the vessels that you would have us to be. And we give you glory, honor, and the praise. Remember all the sick, shuddy, and bereaved families. And we thank you for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. God, you said amen. amen. Come on, say it like you mean it. Amen. amen. Give him a hand. Amen. Praise. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you this morning. Amen. That's what he said. It's raining his spirit. Amen. Down upon us. Amen. We give all glory and praise unto him, our Father, who has called and commissioned us to do his will. Amen. And we just thank God for being with us this morning. We're going to have Sister Lisa... Turner will come and give our announcements again. Well, it's just good to see you coming back and amen. Listen, y'all, we should always take every opportunity to give God thanks and praise for his blessing. We should never take for granted the things that God blesses us with. We got eyes to see, legs to walk, mouths to talk, ears to hear. Check this out. Morning, when I rise, before I open my eyes, I thank you for another day, for sending blessings my way, all throughout my day, I have to take time to pray, and thank you Lord once again, because I know how good you've been.
my soul, Lord, to keep. I thank you for all you've done, for how you gave your only son, who died on Calvary. For this today I am free. I give you, Lord, all the praise for sending blessings my and forevermore. If you will sing with this choir. Oh. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I left. Uh, you're right. You're right.